Welcome back. A Middletown man has been charged with animal cruelty after police say his German Shepherd was chained to a tree for four years. But while those who rescued the dog are furious, Nine on Your Side reporter Scott Wagner tells us neighbors thought the animal was merely sick. Come here, handsome. Believe it or not, this starved, infected, and physically abused German Shepherd is in better shape now than just a few days ago. He's feeling a little better now. His owner, Jeremy Shane Temple, called him Toby, but his rescuers have renamed him Joseph after the biblical character. Who was left dead by his brothers, and then he ended up being a ruler. Here's how Middletown police say they found Joseph chained to a backyard tree, apparently for four years with little food or water. Meg Malampi is a volunteer for the Progressive Animal Welfare Society, or PAWS. She says fleas were eating Joseph alive. When I gave him a bath, the, the blood just ran off of him. Michael Geigus, the manager of the Westchester Veterinary Clinic, was shocked. There's no excuse for this, none. I mean, you can see this is the worst case of abuse I've seen here. Over there under that tree. Ron Allman lives next door to the temples. He says the neighbors denied abusing their pet. They told us that it was uh, it was a disease that he had. A member of the Temple House said the family had no comment and asked me to leave. But earlier, after Temple was arrested, Allman says a family member asked him for a favor. She wanted us to write a, a, a sort of a note that uh, we never saw anyone mistreat the dog, so we did. Temple is due in court on October 14th. When the arresting officer asked Temple about the dog's condition, the report says his answer was, the dog is not human. <laughs> Scott Wegener, nine on your side, Middletown. And some good news here. You see he's getting some good care. Joseph is expected to make a full recovery.